Hello and welcome back to another review with me Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. As you can see, we've changed this out from the, the whiskey den in the house. We're outside in the Scottish um, amazing kind of trees and, and things. So why not do a wee review from the outdoors? As I started my video, I am climbing a very steep hill. So I think I will deserve a whiskey at the end of this. This week is going to be the Laphroaig Lore, which heavily peated Isla single malt. It's been aged, it's an non-age statement, but we do know that it's between 7 and 21 years old. Let me try and get through this gate. There we go. So, non-age statement, but they've dev delved into their cask range, 21 years old, and I think the youngest is 7 that's in there, but they just didn't want a big stamp of a seven-year-old on that. The cask makeup, ex-bourbon, 19th century, quarter casks, and sherry is what we've got. Some beautiful views as well, let me show you. Hello. <laughs> right. So it's a beautiful scenery, as we can see. I'll make it even better, put me in the background. I'm joking. So, back to it. Whiskey, heavily peated, Isla Single Malt. Laphroaig is not everyone's cup of tea, which is absolutely fine. I struggled at the start, but I was able to change um, the way that we tried. It was medicinal, it wasn't very to my palate, but I started to learn to like it. started to understand it, get to know it, bought a couple of different bottles and seen that the flavour profile was completely different so we're going to get this open once we get to the top of our secret Scotland location and we'll give it a smell we'll give it a taste and we'll get down to the to the nitty gritty I'm going to pretend that I'm not blowing up my backside climbing up this hill so we will stop for now but we'll return at the top get some nice views open this whiskey and we'll get it tried on the top of a nice Scottish hill. So we'll see you up there. So we finally made it to the top. Got my breath back, got my whiskey poured, so we can get into this. So as I say, Laphroaig Lore. This is something which my partner actually bought. She loved it, we tried it in a day out and we thought, she liked it, let's buy it. She likes it, I'm probably going to like it. And I do. So just to get into it quickly, Lore um, is the passing of a skill or a tradition through word of mouth, encapsulating the craft passed down from generation to generation over two centuries. So that's what lore means, it's about their craftsmanship and how they've been able to pass it down and keep making the whiskey that they make. So we've got this in the glass just now, I've poured it off camera because I've tried to pour it on camera and it was, I needed to be an octopus, I need more hands. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this on the nose, we'll get it on the palate, we'll give it a little try. Laphroaig being the most notable Isla whiskey in my opinion. It's one that always stands out. It smells completely different than the rest. I think it's one blind tasting. You can usually pick out. You either love or hate this. And I did hate it at one point, but trying different expressions, trying different cast makeup, different ABVs, it's totally changed me. So on the nose, we'll have a wee look. It's not as PT and medicinal as Laphroaig is is what I would say. Laphroaig is this big hit of medicinal, TCP, iodine, hospital. A lot of people say it's not hospital. I totally agree. But this one doesn't. It's a little bit softer. It's a bit more seaweed, your maritime notes, that kind of typicalness, but taken back from the hospital um, TCP smells. You do get that hint of peat, the big burst coming through in the background. Salty, at the ocean. It's smells great. We'll get this on the palette and I'll do a wee close up for, for colour. Wow. So, big, right at the end, that big peat hit just grabs you, takes you right in. 48% ABV, you can definitely taste that. The sherry notes come through. Kind of, Milky chocolate to an extent. A little bit salty. The peach just there, it's just burning away. It's just like a, 
a very dry wood burn with peat put on top of it I would say it's got that kind of smoke coming from it it's not like it doesn't knock your socks off it's just balanced very very well I think this is a great expression it's yes it's 75 pounds it has a little bit more but this could be an introduction if you're not too sure about the 10 year old the select the quarter casks trying something which may be a little bit different older stock in here as well they're saying it's up to 21 years old you might get a little bit of a surprise salty fresh i don't know if this is the fresh air of scotland taking it all in but it's absolutely wonderful it's got that kind of rich syrupy fruit again sorry my camera woman's um giggling away in the background so i don't know what's happened but peaty a little bit smoky chocolate syrup and some nice syrupy fruit i don't know what's happened but we will continue this back at the flat you can stop so we've made it back from the secret location in scotland which if you've been you probably know what it is it's um just off the shore of Loch Lomond of Balmaha, Conic Hill, we climbed up there. And I don't think there was a better place to have a dram than top of something so scenic and picturesque. And everything was going smoothly until the camera woman decided to have the, the giggles, which is absolutely fine. Still don't know what we la we're laughing at, we've still not found that out, but it's, it's all good. The whiskey itself, just to kind of recap, I really enjoyed it. The sherry notes to it, the, the peatiness, the dryness, the sweetness it just captured kind of everything that i like in a whiskey as i said it's a different lefroy it's a different kind of breed it's something i would definitely recommend trying if you if you do like peat and if you're looking for something slightly different as i say older stock that's the thing that's caught me in there and i never really knew that um, until i had a wee look online so if they're saying 21 year old it could be teaspoon but hey who knows who knows so when I was walking back, walking through, I actually did take my eyes up and, and took everything in and I did find some amazing trees. I do think they might be Douglas fir, was what a lot of the washbacks are made of um, here at the distilleries. So I'll put a wee picture up right at the end. But I'm back now, legs are tired. I'm going to sit back, chill out. I, I'm starting to feel a wee bit better now. That's It's kind of knocked me back a wee bit in that walk. But... I'm feeling a lot better, so I'm going to go sit back, I'm going to relax. I might pour a wee, a wee dram and just sit and enjoy it again, but relaxing is priority just now. But as always, I've been Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. Enjoy me next week. Let's talk whiskey. Slander, folks. Mm -hmm.